Hello. So I'm so pleased to, to be with you to, and to discover also the exhibition. And it was, uh, I really like the exhibition because it shows really the diversity of the European designer. And this diversity, in fact, is not only coming from the, uh, the, uh, the fact that the Europe is met with uh, very, a lot of different culture. It's also met by the fact that designers are developing a strong personal approach. And so that's why they are able to apply this approach in very different contexts. As far as, as far as industrial design is concerned, bringing, uh, during the last decade, the know-how has been mostly used to bring uh, standardization and uniformization. But now we are living in an interesting and challenging period. I feel it's, that it's really time to inject uh, better and more your individuality and your specificity to express a value, to inject sensibility and humanity also, and also it's time to question ourselves and our society. In a world, it's time to bring new logic of thinking, to open new perspective and to visualize, visualize them, to make them share, thanks to the new tool, uh, numeric tool we get. So it's really the perfect time to think and experiment. So I, I will show you only a few projects uh, I did um, on, uh, with this idea of experimenting or uh, going in new context. The first one uh, is called Fitolab. I made it uh, six years ago. And I was asked to, to, do, uh, uh, to create a vision of a, a bathroom and um, that's why I ended with this uh, uh, project, which is not a, proj a project to be done, but uh, a vision. The, so the Fito Lab is an open space, which is uh, transparent. Um, I thought the bathroom was, in fact, the, the adequate place to welcome the structure to grow uh, plants and to learn how to uh, use the plants for your body. Our grandma before was able to prepare some uh, hot drink with plants to care about small diseases, daily diseases, but uh, we lose this know-how little by little. And uh, so uh, this system is a little bit like cooking, you know, you, you, little by little you know plants and you mix them. And um, so it's another vision of the bathroom. As you can see, there is no mirror because the idea is not to look at, look at yourself, but more to feel yourself. There, a lot of projects uh, I'm doing is uh, around this idea of mixing nature and artificial. Uh, as a human being, as human being, we do create artificial. So the idea is not to go back and try to get the genuine nature, but the idea is much more to understand how to uh, make a, a symbiosis of this uh, uh, nature and artificial. The second project is in a, a very different context. Two years ago, I was asked to, uh, to show a project in a, an art gallery for the first time, and uh, it was in Paris, in the gallery Deus Ropac. And my intention was uh, all, uh, at that time to create an object with two angles of view. Uh, the object uh, could be seen as a sculpture or as a piece of furniture. It's called Nature Morte Habitée. And uh, I just want it to be just in the middle. Uh, uh, it's a range of projects made in sycamore, in wood. Oh, sorry. I started with the idea of using a no curve and um, having these empty colorated spaces attached to the body of the... Of the of, and uh, so it gives a kind of structural aspect to the piece, but also uh, they are functional, uh, as you can see because uh, the, the centerpiece is a lamp, and uh, uh, this uh, piece is an arm, armchair, and you uh, can really use uh, the empty space to put uh, books and newspaper. And this one is a long chair. I really like this project because uh, it's really uh, uh, um, uh, according to my approach, and I really like the idea to open the, the, the object to enlarge the functions. This is how it was shown. The, the, uh, the next project is uh, about an hypothesis of, of uh, work. It's called the hypothesis of connection. Um, 
I did first this uh, small illustration. I don't know why, it was like an instinctive, uh, um, in an instinctive way, and then I, I tried to analyze what it means. Uh, today, we usually imagine specific and autonomous objects, but for this experimental project, the idea was to think the object as an interconnected of a wall. Um, so the idea of, uh, it's, um, the, the object exists only, it is as much as uh, related to the rest, to nature, to the human and technical environment. As you can see, the small character is, is also made with uh, layers of different networks attached, and is attached to the, wet, to the rest, so in a way, it will be more responsible of, of the war. Uh, let's just take an example. If uh, the light switched, today we have a big plastic and a complex object around uh, the light switch. Uh, in a way, it's, uh, it, can be reduced, it's, uh, it can be reduced to being a link between two poles. And uh, we can use our finger to do this connection between these two poles. By, by analogy, becoming a light switch allows one to become part of the war. So this hypothesis of connection consists in uh, removing the layers. I just started to make a vi uh, visualization with uh, lamps because it was for, for me more easier. So I did this portable ones and this uh, one which is bigger with this idea of getting, getting uh, um, a kind of flux and uh, the energy is uh, providing the light a little bit like uh, at the beginning of the electricity. And then I was asked to do a kind of experimental space. Uh, so I did this uh, uh, scenography with the idea of uh, bringing, uh, not doing walls, but really having this uh, structure uh, full of light, making different uh, way, uh, the different situation to sit uh, uh, together or uh, individual. And then I'm now developing a project uh, according to this unit of an habitation. Uh, in fact, it will be made like a tree-like structure. So um, it's like a um, uh, fold. And uh, it's just, just like a plant. The house is innervated and structured by the, by the nervure in which flows the fluid and the energy. So the energy can feed multiple diffusers, detachable and removable. So this is uh, a little bit the, the, the drawing of it. So you, as you can see, you can attach uh, light, a different uh, heat, sound, and uh, images diffuser, uh, and uh, wherever you want in the structure. Right now, we do build uh, walls, and we never know where we put the the, the, the fluid inside, so the idea is to, to uh, start with another logic. And I will develop this with a school, uh, with students who are in fact uh, uh, builders, uh, learners. Sorry. The next project I will uh, uh, talk about, it's called Another Logic Of. I was creating this project with the idea of creating new scenarios of life. The first scenario is around uh, a new eating uh, ritual. Um, so if the, the time dedicated to eat around the table is stable in France, we, I think we, uh, we take about 18 free minutes uh, every day around the table. The time dedicated to prepare the meal is declining. So the intention of the, uh, of the project is to integrate uh, a part of the ritual of preparing uh, the meal around the table. So uh, in France, we have two different explanations. We say, or we do, uh, we fait, on fait à manger, so it means we're just cooking for surviving, or faire la cuisine, which is very different. So I did this table uh, with uh, this tray up. So the idea is to uh, finish or to prepare the meal on, the, uh, on it. And because uh, cooking uh, could become a kind of a uh, leisure activity, and, um, and uh, you can share it. So it's not uh, always the same person who will cook, and uh, you can share with the family and the friends. As we all know, eating is an important and structural social activity. So the, the, when you, you finish the, the, the dish, you put it on, on, uh, on the table, and the chandelier 
is uh, becoming um, uh, a sensor amplifier. So the chandelier is taking the, the measure color of the dish and uh, is projecting all around uh, an atmosphere. The idea is not to change the color of the, uh, on, the, on the table, but just around. The other uh, project I did around this idea of uh, another logic of is about the light. It's a light made with two different parts. Uh, you have one part outside. This part is, it in fact, uh, a collector of energy, but it will work only in the night. These uh, panels are taking the energy of the moon. You have to wait uh, a week or even 10 days to be able to use the energy. And this energy, uh, this is uh, the outside part, and this, this energy uh, could be used for the diffuser which will be placed in, uh, at home. Because I think it's too easy right now to just have to push a knob to get energy. Energy is not unlimited. So this light is a pure, it's white, it's a symbolic, it's a symbolic light, and it's, uh, the idea is to get another relationship with energy. Thanks a lot.